Alright, today I'm going to be playing the Oregon Trail, or the Oregon Trail, depending on how you pronounce Oregon. Uh, I work with someone who grew up in Oregon, and she says that Oregon is the way you're supposed to pronounce it, but she also said that it's okay to call it the Oregon Trail when, when, uh, when pronouncing the game, so I've always called it Oregon Trail, that is... The way, what, how I'm gonna call it today, and how I'll always call it for my, the entirety of my life. <clears throat> anyway, um, there are a lot of versions of this game. This, uh, you know, there was first was a text-based game that was the original uh, ver uh, rendition of it. Then there was the mid-80s one that was, you know, the more f popular, most famous version, the one that everybody recognizes the most. Then there was uh, the early 90s one. It had a few different variations. Um, I played the original 80s one first, but I have more memories with this one. This is the uh, this is I think this is the this is the Windows version, the one that I'm gonna be playing. There's like there were three variations of this version of the game, and I'm playing the Windows vari variation. Reason being, I like the um, well, I'll get into it more after I enter all this shit. So, I'm going to be the wagon leader. <clears throat> and I'm going to be... Well, first off, this first... I'm going to play a full game. Uh, we're giving myself... the Maximizing my chances of finishing the trail. So, I'm going to pick a doctor for the sake of both money and uh, keeping people healthy. And I'm also going to pick... Uh, the best, uh, or at least one of the better months in the uh, year to select as far as likelihood of getting through in good weather. Uh, so I'm going to play a full game like that, and then I'll play another game where I'll just stack the deck against myself as much as possible and see how far we can get. That'll be the goal here. So for this game, I'll um, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to my party members are going to be um, the last four people who have left comments on my channel as of this the, this recording. So the first one, the most recent was uh, Parallel Piped Two. Got that right. Uh, next we have Dexter Saint Jacques. Oh, I'm not going to be able to fit that. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. I need another three. I'll just put Dexter Jacques. All right. Uh, next, we have William Dancer. And finally, Big Mean Squeeze. All right. Uh, can't fit it, so I'm just going to put Big Squeeze, or Big M Squeeze. I think that looks better. Alright, so this will be our party for our first journey. And because it's April, I'll pick April. It seems like, you know, these early months are the ones that are the, the you know, the, the better choices of as far as getting through in, in its entirety. The later months, you're going to end up hitting the winter time. So I think for in the second game, I'll pick August. So that way we we hit some rough road early. All right. So we have a shit ton of cash to play with. Um, go with eight oxen. Uh, go with twenty sets of clothing. Fifty boxes of bullets, and then we'll max out our wagon parts because the doctor can't fix shit. And we'll go a thousand dollars worth of food, or not a thousand dollars worth of food, two hundred dollars worth of food, because it's a thousand pounds. And then we'll kick off. So we're in Independence, Missouri. We're going to start our journey. So this version of the game, as opposed to the the old 80s version, it's a little different. Well, it's quite different, mainly in the interface. The game itself, the playthrough of the game, isn't that much different, but the... Th this version, I I played it more often, 
even though I played the older one first, I just, in the fifth grade, I believe it was, we had more computer time, and I played the hell out of this, um, this version, although this isn't the exact variation, I played, uh, one that didn't have, uh, it didn't have the little pop-ups for, you know, calamities and, and other events, which is one of the things I like about this exact version that I'm playing. Aside from that, I also like the, you know, interface. I like how you can just click on, uh, you know, a command that you want to do. Alright, let's start this trail off. The one thing I don't like about this version, I don't say I don't like about the version, one thing I like about the older version more is the, um, is that you can see, you, you get a better view of the, uh, uh, oh, we're starting off with some fog. Uh, you know, like, the it, the graphics are smaller as far as the, you know, the oxen and the wagon and everything, but you've got a map, you've got, you know, all your details, your stats, your... And then you've got, of course, the, uh, you know, little journal here that tells you... Every, oh, it stops me when I click on that. <clears throat> Alright, our first river. We made it to uh, the river unscathed. So this river is six and a half feet deep. This one we're gonna... We can either ford the river and just walk right across it like a normal... Uh, like as if uh, <laughs> it's nobody business but ours save time but fuck that it's not six and a half feet deep that's not gonna be plausible i think we're gonna we're gonna float the the wagon across you could also take a ferry but then you have to wait some time and it'll cost you money we should be able to get across and no problem uh you know the weather's not so bad that's that's something that can affect your the chances of getting across you're very likely to get across no problem if the weather's fine and you're also not, uh, oh, there, we're stopped. Um, if you're, um, if the if the water's deep, that's another that's another issue. Oh man, big mean squeeze broke their arm. I guess it got squeezed a little too hard during some rough housing. Whoever broke big mean squeeze's arm, shame on thee. So we got a river coming up here again. And we uh, suck at navigation because we lost the trail for five whole fucking days. We, we off-roaded it. And then, yeah, there goes some... There's That's a major delay right there. Five whole days of just wandering around off the road. How the hell did that happen? It gave us a lot of food, so we won't be hunting for a while. But, I mean, I think... Oh, shit! Snake bite for William Dancer. Uh, you know, it's a bad time to have a snake bite where you're about to cross a river. I could rest, but we have we, we do have a doctor. So 4.2 feet. Now this is this is an interesting one. It uh, it might be it uh. I feel like though that it's just a little bit too deep to to ford. Fuck it, we're gonna ford it. Let's let's, let's take our chances. And that didn't work out. And somebody's gonna drown, right? No, we all right. Everybody survived. Good for us. Good for us. But we did lose three whole oxen and twelve sets of clothing. That's more than half our clothing and almost half our oxen. Damn. Well, hey, we this it, with a broken arm. I gotta give Big Mean Squeeze credit for swimming out of that shit. I don't know if we helped them, but uh, you know, to, to swim. But whatever, it's all for one, one for all. I'm gonna, you know what? It's, it's, considering we caught a big break, I'm gonna rest for three days just to maximize William Dancer's chances of. Surviving the snake bite because we did dodge a bullet there with that uh, river fording.
I guess it's really... Well, we lose a day, we were resting anyway, so whatever. Alright, I'm gonna check our stats here. Um, yeah, see, still got the snake bite. Let's rest one more day. Two days. I feel like, the, you know, we, we can afford the time. Alright, dancers well. And the broken arm isn't a life-threatening injury, so we'll just keep on going. The doctor can't keep uh somebody alive with a bro from a broken arm then they need to practice medical uh they need to go back to medical school so this is you know an educational game but it's you know it's more you know it's edutainment there's more on the entertainment side than, than the educational side. Although you can learn a, a great deal because there's, you know, you can stop and talk to the locals and they'll give you, you know, some fact. You know, let's fact. Let's do that. Let's listen to the uh, the voice acting. The trails from the jumping off places, Independence, St. Joseph, Council Bluffs, come together at Fort Kearney. This new fort was built by the U.S. Army to protect those bound for California and Oregon. All right, so we get some protection here. And that's what I mean. You get, like, you know, little tidbits like that. But it does not in any fashion, uh, you know, what a lot of these entertainment games have as far as, you know, um, you know, let's buy some, uh, we need to replace our oxen. One of the problems with these, you know, uh, educational games is that there's, they rely too heavily on the education than anything else. Um, this, you know, has was a good enough balance where you could learn if you wanted to, but you could also enjoy the game. We'll replace what we lost, specifically. The three dead oxen and uh, all the clothes that went down. More than anything, what you learn from this game is how much of a pain in the ass it was for everybody to make this trail, you know, because uh, this, this was, a lot of settlers did take the Oregon Trail, and was, there were a lot of casualties, a lot of uh, trials and tribulations, and playing this game gave you more, more than anything, uh, the, the, oh, and okay, the, the Squeeze's arm is now healed. I didn't keep track. Let's see how long the arm break lasted. All right, so broke their arm on April 9th, and they recovered May 7th. So a full month. That's pretty much, uh, you know, what I'd expect. I mean, even in 1848, that might be. Uh, I guess things haven't changed much. That's about how long. That's how long I had. I broke my arm. The only bro the only bone I've ever broken was my my left arm. I was it was in second grade, and I was I was hanging off of a door. I, I grabbed the top of the door to my grandparents' uh, back room, and uh, I stood on the arm of the couch that where it, that was in front of the door. I grabbed the top of it and 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 kicked off to just hang there by my hands and then I let go and dropped it wasn't a huge drop but I landed just right or just wrong and broke my arm <clears throat> the thing was when I got brought in the doctors thought that I had damaged my growth plate all right we're at chimney rock let's have a little conversation I hear terrible stories about wagon parties running out of food before Oregon the whole party starving to death we must check our supplies often we might not get there as soon as we think. Always plan for the worst, I say. I agree with you, Rebecca Sims. Always plan for the worst. That's why we you know, loaded up on supplies. All right, we'll continue on. Going back to the story, I so they, the doctors thought I had damaged my growth plate. And so I was, and they didn't, I was in second grade, so they didn't want to frighten me too much about the fact that I was going to be operated on. They, they had planned for operation. I was in the hospital for two nights. And uh, at the last minute, well, after, not the last minute, but on the last day, the day of 
the, my scheduled surgery, uh, you know, after running more tests, they determined that I had, my, my arm was fine. So, I dodged the bullet, and, but I did have my arm in a cast for a month. We're looking pretty good here, uh, I don't think we need to buy anything, we... We are getting low-ish on the food rate, so I'll probably go for a hunt pretty soon. I could buy some, I could have bought some, but, you know, I think I'll hang on to that for later. We spent some money that we weren't intending to. Once we get to, like, about a hundred pounds, maybe a buck fifty, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go for a hunt. One thing I do remember about that hospital stay when I broke my arm was, uh, wild fruit, alright. I remember specifically getting three shots, because I hated shots. Uh, all, most kids hate shots. But I had, uh, one of the three shots that I got was just an IV, you know, so it wasn't... Oh no, dysentery. That's much worse than a broken arm. So, you know what, let's... Even though we have a doctor that could... Should be able to take care of it, we're gonna be more cautious here. We'll rest for three days. We'll see how we do. Oh no, now Dancer has cholera. You know what, we have a lot of... We get some fruit, that's nice, but let's... Let's rest for a little bit longer. Let's rest another four days. We've got some sick people. Jesus Christ, and now Dexter with typhoid. Come on, Doc, what the hell are you feeding us? I know I'm gonna need more rest here. Let's rest for another four days. Alright. Parallel is good. We got some fruit. William's good. Alright, we're running low on food. I'm gonna go for a hunt while we're resting. Hopefully we find some buffalo. Those, you know, one buffalo is enough. Because you can only carry 200 pounds. Alright, and there's squirrels and rabbits. I don't need any of this shit. Is this all that... I, I haven't even hunted yet. Why is everything scarce? This might just be like a bad spot. Oh, well, that's something. Ugh, I hate hunting for small game. They, they're hard to hit. And they don't give us much food. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. You know, it's funny, we were just, we, I think, was it Fort, Fort Laramie we were just at, where, alright, so we ended up getting seven pounds, great. Alright, uh, I'm gonna change our rations to meager. We'll change our eating habits for a little while, because that was not, we gotta get moving. better there. If you keep hunting in the same area, then you end up with, like, no food. There's no animals to hunt whatsoever. I'm going to change the bare bones just for a little while. Let's see if we can trade. We need to get some food. Just 100 pounds. 100 pounds for two sets of clothing. Yeah, well, that sounds good. That'll hold us over for a bit. Let's change the rations back to meager. Before I can do some more hunting. And then I'm gonna buy a shit ton of food at the, at the next fort. Oh, I'm a poor nice. Alright, let's, uh, let's have a little convo. I carved my name way up the side of Independence Rock. Near the top, there are hundreds of names up there. The oldest ones were carved by mountain men and fur trappers. Famous names like Fremont, Bonneville, and Dismet. Oh, so you put yourself in the same class as them? Oh, I'm a poor uh, so I can't buy anything. <coughs> Move 
move on and um, and go for a hunt in a little bit. All right, let's see what we got here. We're in a similar environment. There are different backdrops here for the uh, hunting scene. Oh, there we go. You little fuck. Come on. Yeah, that's pretty good. God, where are you? Oh, most of the deer are showing up over there. They're not a lot. They don't have a lot of meat themselves, but. Yeah, we kind of wanted to hit a bird. Fuck. And I've had, I had much better luck the first hunt. You little fuckers. Like, there you go. Eat shit. Damn it. I'm out of bullets. 64 pounds, that's it? Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna stay meager with the rations. An ox is sick. What is with the broken arms? We're not gonna stop for a broken arm. Just don't break the other arm. I think these fuckers are breaking their arms on purpose so that they don't have to, you know, pull their weight as much. Like, oh, I'm on light duty, my arm is broken. So we're coming up the South Pass here in a bit. here all right yeah i can't hunt at landmarks now let's see if we can trade for more food let's trade for 500 get ourselves nobody's got 500 pounds of food to spare well how about uh i don't know maybe just 200 716 bullets now we have we have 967 bullets. That's most of our bullets. All right, now let's let's change that to 100 pounds. 254 bullets. That's a little bit better. All right, so I want to buy supplies. I'll take the shortcut to the crossing. Yeah, let's head. Let's get some supplies. So I do want to get a little bit more food. I want to stock up pretty good on food. And then, um, and then, you know, buy some bullets too to make up for the ones that we traded. Took the wrong trail and lost that day. See, now, if we didn't have these motherfuckers with broken arms, talking to you, Dexter, in this particular moment, we don't have to worry about that. Let's, uh, let's start eating better again. You know, they'd, we'd have more people to keep us in the right direction. Like the direction where there's no fucking grass. Alright, we're at Fort Bridger. Let's uh, have a little conversation here first. One child drowned in a swollen creek east of Fort Laramie. Aww. My husband died of typhoid near Independence Rock. Now I travel alone with my five children. The eldest, Caleb, is 11. I fear he'll be a man before we reach Oregon. Bitch, bitch. All right, um, well, we came here to get supplies, so let's get some supplies. All right, let's. We have 
850, let's get 900 and uh, 850 pounds. Get to an even thousand. We can't do that. We only have 225 bucks. So let's go more with 500. If we do that and buy, we have 36 boxes of bullets. We have it's 20 per box. We're good with bullets. We still have plenty. I'm not gonna. All right, I'm just gonna buy the food. We're good with everything else. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hunt in a little while. I'm not gonna hunt in the fog. I don't even think it lets you. I think it says you can't hunt in the fog. Oh no, cholera now. Let's uh, let's rest. While we're resting, I will go a hunting. Hunting, we will go. Hunting, we will go. But yeah, the one of the forts that we were at was playing that the. The tune that Bugs Bunny parodied with, the rabbits are coming, hooray, hooray, the rabbits are coming, hooray, hooray. Alright, that's it. 187 pounds, that's almost the maximum. Alright, let's move on. Uh, how is everybody doing? We still have cholera and a broken arm. Let's rest for a little bit longer. Not so much, so much for the broken arm. Again, not life-threatening. Uh, Alright, that is good. We were playing uh, the card game, the Oregon Trail card game, which is a pretty good card game. It's very tough to beat. Um, it's kind of like the it's kind of like the game. It is. It's a co-op game. Everybody's in it to to finish the trail, and you know you draw out cards that uh, you know dictate what happens along the trail. And my niece Annika, who I, you know was probably five at the time, it's only a couple years ago. Um, she drew a card, and the first card she draws was. You were bitten by a snake and died, and poor thing just started bawling, because, yeah, very sensitive to, uh, oh shit, an ox died. And she would be pissed off about that a lot, because she loves animals. So, damn. So where are we getting to next? Is there, is all, uh, another river. The Green River. Alright, everybody's doing pretty good. Except for the snakes. Oh, and speaking of rattlesnakes. Another fucking snake bite. Alright, let's rest you. Rest you merry gentlemen, because... You're up. You are poisoned, my man. Everybody else is doing fair. Rest. We're in, getting toward late July. We still got a ways to go. We had a lot of delays, so. Oh no, the cholera. I'm gonna. Uh, you know, we're we're running into some rough area here with a lot of dry land, there's no grass, shitty water. We did find some wild fruit, so I'm gonna... We're moving at a steady pace. I, I We have a doctor. We'll take our chances. We don't want to end up taking this into the winter time. So, I'm gonna take my chances with the cholera. What the fuck? Big mean squeeze out of nowhere died of dysentery. Dysentery just came out of nowhere. Well, son of a bitch. 
That sucks. Rest in peace. Now when Ox is getting sick. Alright, we've hit the river. We're gonna go across. 40 feet deep, we're taking the ferry. Alright, so it's gonna cost us 5 bucks. Not a big deal. We have to wait 6 days. Yeah, we, we've... We've got okay, uh, one of our members has cholera here, so let's uh, let's wait it out a little bit. All right, we made it. All right, and parallel pipe is uh, is is recovered from the cholera. Got some oil for... Alright, so it's, you know, things are looking up. That was a rough... Okay, we lost two pounds. Of... Two, pounds two pounds of food isn't bad. Alright, I'm gonna go for a hunt. Yeah, you thought you were gonna... That was your last meal, wasn't it? Oh, buffalo. How come I have not killed you? Jesus, I was shooting, like, underneath him or something. Alright, we, we, we killed way too much. Yeah, that buffalo just... Jesus Christ, that's like 800... 900 pounds too much. But it was because we shot all that other shit before the buffalo. If I would have got the buffalo first, all that other shit would be alive. Oh, no! Broken axle. I'm not going to try to fix it, because I know that I'm not going to be able to. We'll replace it, because that's why we bought the extra supplies, because we knew that as, doctor, or as a doctor, I could not fix the damn thing. I also could not help... Big mean squeeze with uh, their dysentery. It just came out, came out of nowhere, and, and killed them immediately. Found an abandoned wagon. All right, so we got three sets of clothing and 33 bullets. That, you know, that should uh, help a little bit. More wild fruit. The extra food always helps. We're in good health. Oxen having a hard time here. Maybe we'll eat. Alright. Uh, 18 pounds lost. That's a waste. Waste of food. Bad water. Alright, we're in good health. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. Let's go to a strenuous pace. Because we're in... This place sucks. Oh, the music changed, though, when the pace changed. Oh, no. Dysentery. We're not gonna fuck with that. That is... Alright, let's change... Let's go back to steady, and we'll, uh... Rest. Just a couple days. We're almost at a landmark here. The Soda Springs is the uh, next one. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, all right, yeah, let's just move on. Oh, no, let's have a conversation here. I've heard it said that there are many cutoffs to take to shorten the journey. That by taking all the shortcuts, you can save many days on the trail. And why not? Saving time and provisions is worth the risk. You don't sound very trustworthy, but uh, I do gotta agree that that is all well and good and true, but we did have to go take one scenic route to get some supplies. And here, sometimes you just find supplies. Like 40 bullets. Out of nowhere. After this next landmark, I'm gonna do another hunt. Just to replenish. Alright, recovered from the dysentery. That was a killer, literally, earlier. Man, the water is either shitty or just non existent around this uh, neck of the woods. All right, we're at a fort. Well, what I'll tell you, what I'll do is, um, well, only forty-five bucks. 
We're not really in dire need, we'll save that. Lost my partner, what'll I do? Uh Well, friend, this is where we part. I'm bound for California with an imposing desert to cross. And you you got the Snake River to cross, which I hear is no picnic. Write us, you or the missus, just as soon as you reach Oregon. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I think everybody's fine. Well, everybody except for poor Squeeze. And by fine, I mean fair. Fair is okay. There's nothing, you know. Not too bad. Not too great. Snake River Crossing is coming up, huh? Exhaustion. Alright, let's... How are you exhausted? We're moving at a steady pace. Let's rest for two days. It's not... It's not bad. I'm gonna go for a hunt while we're resting. Fucking squirrels. If I shoot, if I fire, you're gonna escape, aren't you? Yep, I knew it. Oh, are you ser seriously? Last time when we killed that many, uh, I mean, not with the buffalo. We can't, That's about how much we killed with uh, when we did take out the buffalo. But I thought that, you know, that maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I did get a little overzealous and trigger happy with that one. But I felt like uh, just being a little sure that we would come away with some meat. Overdone it. You know, we've got another couple of forts. All right, another. Nah. Hate to waste food. There are starving kids in Indiana or something. Health is poor. That's not good. All right. Well, you're good again. Nice recovery, Dexter. <clears throat> is everybody good? Well, fair anyway. It's better than poor. Better than bad. It's good. Now a broken leg. Again, I'm not going to stop for a broken leg and rest. I mean, it's... We lost 55 pounds of food to these fucking thievery motherfuckers. I still have bullets, you know? I should have... Uh, I'd love to just shoot the prick. Take my food back, maybe cannibalize on him. It says right here in the Shively guidebook, you must hire an Indian to pilot you at the crossings of the Snake River, it being dangerous, if not perfectly understood. But my husband insists on crossing without a guide. Yeah, he's a man. He doesn't want to stop and ask for directions. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to try to... Thousand foot across and it's twelve feet deep. We well, would definitely. How much is this Indian gonna charge me? Change for three sets of clothing. Yeah, let's just. Uh...
Now, did he float the wagon a certain way or something? I mean, I figure we have plenty of clothes, so... And, and we also have one member dead, so it's less clothes needed. Oh, we made it to Squiddy's grave. Squiddy, all right, so... <laughs> for the record, Squiddy is, uh... My stepkid's stuffed animal, who, when we played the game, we used him as the wagon master and died. So, there's, a There's a, a, a little cameo there for Squiddy. He's the stuffed squid. Sick with typhoid. Uh, and I think that's the only... Oh, we got a broken leg, which is not a big deal. But typhoid is a fever that we want to... Let's just rest for two days. Oh, shit. I guess two days was not enough. Rest in peace, parallel pipe to two. You died of typhoid. Uh... Let's go. Let's get some food here. Um, although, you know, less mouths to feed. That's the one advantage. All right, I'm just gonna kill the buffalo and be done with it. How are you surviving this? How are you surviving this for real? I'm. I'm. How did you survive that? Like for real? All right. Yeah, we, we could only carry back 200. I know. I know how it works. Another fever, Jesus. Alright, we're gonna rest for three days. Let's rest for four days. We're getting there, but it's starting to get chilly. Now now it's hot. We're still in late September in the northwest. Ugh, come on, with our we got lost like three times on this trail. And now 13 pounds of food that, from that fucking buffalo, it's still pissing me off to this day. It had to be from that fucking stubborn buffalo. Running low on water. Our food is getting spoiled. And our pet's heads are falling off. It's good to know. I still have a broken leg, right? Yeah. Broken legs take longer to heal than a broken arm. I, I never had... Oh, and how about a broken friggin' wheel, too? We're not gonna spend any time fixing it. We have supplies. Boy, we... I think this is the last fort. You'll not get your wagon over them blue mountains, mister. Leave it. Cross your goods over with pack animals. Get yourself a couple of good mules. Piece of the wagons litter the trail, left by them folks who don't heed good advice. All right, a trader with six mules. On top of all... all right, so we have 45 bucks. Well, we're looking fine with what we've got. Um... You know, shit, maybe I'll just buy food just to keep us, uh... And I can only get a hundred. And that will clean us out completely. On top of all smoking. Alright, moving it on. Poor ox. Poor ox in. Alright, we've hit October. Let's, uh... Yeah, we should be good.
poor. Oh no, measles again! I don't know what this doctor sucks. These diseases just sneak attack us. We've only got William Dancer left, besides myself. And if I'm the doctor, then Doctor Aqualung, uh, you know, is failing miserably. See the light at the end of the tunnel, though. It's kind of, you know, getting to a circumstance where, like, do we do we rest because you know health isn't so hot? I mean, health is fair, so we're not really in dire need or anything like that. But you know, do we pick up the pace and risk it for the biscuit so we can, you know, t to to avoid the bad weather? Since crossing the snake at Fort Boise, it's been just mountains and desert. Dust deeper each day. Six inches at times. No tracks, just clouds of dust. Many cattle choked on the dust after swimming the river. Then bled and died. It's very bleak, these people are. Uh... Yeah, let's just take the shortcut. Go straight for it. Especially when we're losing 30 pounds of food to thievery. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna hunt, do one more hunt here. Hey, come back here. I know there's like a lot of dry... It's tum tumbleweed. The, the that, uh, that fellow did mention a lot of dry... Fuck you, squirrel. I wanted to get one bird. Lucky birds. <clears throat> See, I think I felt like that was about how much I shot in the last hunt, and I ended up with like an additional seven, eight hundred pounds of food. Not really sure how that happened. No water. So the Dallas is next. I think. All right, ninety-five miles away. We're almost there. Oh, you poor ox. We were so close. You know, when you float the wagons across the rivers, do you load the ox in the oxen into the wagon? Like, do you, can you fit everybody in there? About to hit the uh, the final moment here. Um, this was the one thing about this version of the game. No, we're not gonna spend any time fixing. We've got uh, we've got an axle. All right, here it is, the Dallas. Let's see if anybody has anything to say. These about. last hundred miles to the Willamette Valley are the roughest. Either rafting down the swift and turbulent Columbia River or driving your wagon over the steep Cascade Mountains. Hire an Indian guide if you take the river. Alright. So he had a different approach than the husband of that lady. Now well, we can take the toll well, we can't take the toll road. We don't have any money. We're just gonna do it plus that's gonna Let's just take our chances by rafting down the river. This is rafting minigame was uh, 
an exclusive to this version of the game. Not this exact ver you know, the this uh, reiteration, this early 90s reiteration of it. If you hit rocks and you fall in the water, you're guaranteed to lose at least one uh, person. And we've only got two left, so... Don't want to take uh, those chances. It's not that hard. You know, the, the rocks come up pretty slowly, but... Sometimes you can uh, just miscalculate and get yourself cornered and we made it we made it to the promised land of Oregon and uh we made it with two whole people rest in peace to those who uh, who, who who we lost along the way you will forever be uh, remembered we made it on October 20th Dip with 9.49. Yeah, sure, we'll save it. Uh, this was Aqua Long. And I made it to 8th place on the whole, uh, you know, list of legends. Alright, so not bad. I mean, it wasn't good, it wasn't great. We had some... We, we, we certainly hit some, uh, some issues with that one. Alright, well, I'm, like I said, I'm going to play one more time and I'm going to you know, just for shits and giggles, uh, make this as difficult on myself as possible, so, let's see, we'll go with teacher, I think that you, that's a, that's, yeah, so, the only thing that you get out of this, you only have $400 to spend at the beginning, you have no special advantages, it's the worst, it's the worst one to start with, but you get a final bonus, uh, of three and a half points, uh, three and a half multiplied by your, uh, by what your final pointage is if you make it there. See, we with the doctor, you get no bonus points. So we'll go with teacher. Uh, I'll go back, and this time I'll I'll, I'll take the next four uh, more recent uh, commenters. Uh, first one was Pow Puck with three exclamation points. Then we had Bjork. We have Tradition Ryudo. I had to, you know, copy this here. And then Shen Loken 2. And that is all spelled correctly. I'm just cross referencing with the, the uh, little sheet I have on the side. Alright, we'll go in August to make it as late as possible. We only have $400 to spend, so we're going to be a little bit more, uh, you know, modest with our spending. That's too, that's too much. Fuck it. We'll go with five sets. We want, more than anything, bullets. We're, gonna, we're not going to be able to fix anything. And that's not enough. It's too, mo or it's, uh, too much. We'll start with 500. That clearly leaves us with $20 left. We're going to have to... Um, we have to hope. That, you know what? Can I afford another ox? I can afford one more ox. That we have no money whatsoever, zero. So we can't buy anything else. We should be all right for a little while, but um, and I'm not gonna play. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to make it. I'm not gonna. You know, I could go grueling pace to. You know, because uh, but I'm not trying to die. Look at this. See, we've never seen one of these severe storms. Then again, we were never in Missouri in August. We were up in the desert uh, by this point, I think. What the fuck? Did we get him back? He wanted it off for three days. All right, yeah, so we, we did. Uh, we didn't lose any time. We just went on with the rest of them. But we have less oxen than we had the last time, so...
five feet. I'm not, I'm I'm floating the damn thing. I'm not going to. Uh, I mean, it was shallower before when. Oh shit! That didn't work out either. And oh damn it! Tradition drown. We at least we we recovered the body and were able to give a proper burial. But uh, damn, that is that, damn. I really thought we could make it over. I, I, the weather wasn't bad. Sometimes you just don't have, you know, sometimes the luck is just isn't on your side, and it does. And it continues with some cholera. We, uh, you know, this we're gonna rest because we are a teacher. We can't. We have no doctor in the house. It is very hot. Now just regular hot. Now it's warm and rainy. I'm gonna hunt because you can't hunt in a rainstorm. Shit. And fog. I probably can't hunt in the fog. Nope, can't hunt in the fog. Alright, at least we... Palpuck survived and Ox is in trouble. We have more on the Calamity side of things than, uh... What we had... In the first couple weeks last time. Four feet... <sighs> yeah, we're floating it, because the last time we tried the... Um, I don't think it's always the same, uh... I may be wrong, but I want to say that you end up with variant of uh, different variants uh, with the rivers dead. Oh man, I was want to get a bird. All right. I, I'm not going to kill any more of these guys, but if I do see a bird, I'm going to try to take them out. Man, so much freaking game. Alright, we're not going to see any birds. Fuck it. So, we killed one buffalo. Did we, like... It, so, 500-some pounds... 517 pounds, and we took back 200, so did we cut the buffalo in half right there on the spot, or did we just cut the meat off and, you know, the good meat? So yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna try to, uh, when I said stack the odds, I could, yeah, I could always go at a grueling pace. I could set our rations to, you know, I think I'm going to set our rations to meager, though, at least. Just because we uh, couldn't afford a lot to start off with. Yeah, it was Fort Kearney that had this, uh, the rabbits are coming song. I'm not going to stop to talk to anybody this time. Yeah, I didn't, I'm definitely not going to buy anything at the forts, because, uh, uh, boy, we suck at taking the, uh, at navigating here again. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to stop at the forts to buy anything, because, uh, man, there's some fog. And there's some fruit. We found fruit in the fro in the, we found fruit in the fog. Say that five times fast. Could not find the trail though, and now an ox croaks as a result. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I mean, my goal is to get as far as I possibly can. So I'm by stacking the deck against myself. I'm not gonna, you know, set rations to to. Um, to low, what is it, bare bones? Bare bones is the small. Bare bones with a grueling pace and not resting for injuries and shit. Uh, I'm gonna try my hardest to win, to get to Oregon in this, uh, in these conditions. With the, uh, you know, the situation that I lined up for myself.
truck is up ahead. And the two pounds of food isn't bad. Fog. Uh oh. Alright, we're gonna rest. Rest for three days and we'll go for a hunt. Does it take multiple shots to get? I thought that, you know, these motherfuckers go down on one shot. No birds. Alright, we're not going to wait around for them. Only an extra 94 pounds. What the hell? Bjork died. So we have two down, right? Yeah, two of us are dead. We are not even halfway there. We're not even close to halfway there. Well, I shouldn't say we're not close to halfway there, but... Yeesh, you know. Two-fifths of us are dead. You know, the worst is yet to come, so... Not too confident. I just realized... Yeah, I'll just keep moving. I just realized we made it on October 20th. Uh, in the last game. That is Tom Petty's birthday. For those of you that don't know Tom Petty. Probably my favorite uh, musical artist. Very sad day for me when he passed. Pow puck got pow broken arm. Yeah, we're not gonna stop for a broken arm. Especially when we're running out of water. How many ox do we have? How many oxen do we have? Four. Our health is poor. Let's start filling up a little bit here. Oh no, dysentery sucks. Dysentery sucks. We, 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 one of us died of dysentery last game with a fucking doctor. Alright, we back to fair, but that's still like just the general health, not counting the dysentery. Uh, let's rest again. Another two days. And then you went and died anyway. Oh, that's cholera. Fuck. So, had dysentery and fucking cho and cholera on top of it. That's that's like dying of heart failure and kidney failure at the same time. That's like falling 100 feet off a skyscraper and then right before you hit the ground you just get smashed with a bus. October 21st. Now we're we're a day beyond when we made it the last time. I mean, that, because we started later, so we haven't even uh, we have not seen a day this late in the calendar uh, playing the game today. And we did not see that rock coming, which broke our fucking wheel. We're not gonna spend any time trying to fix it because we suck at fixing stuff. Uh, if you were a blacksmith um, or a carpenter then you would easily be able to fix that shit. I think you still can fix the... the... Oh, Pow Puck! 
Rest in peace, my friend. That's everybody dead except for me. We might not even make it to winter here. And, I mean, by, by literal winter, you know, the solstice, forget about it, but, I mean, just late November when it starts to, you know, really feel like winter. Fog. I'm the only one left. I'm lone, the lone wolf. All right. I have a broken arm now. Damn it! I did. I I, I cannot be hanging on the damn doors. It's not. All right. We're gonna change the pace here. We're gonna move. We're gonna kick it up a notch. No grass. You know what? I want to hear the song in the grueling pace, just for a kick. Just for just real quick. Yep, much more up tempo. And then I got sick and died. Not up tempo. Who the hell buried me? Just random, uh, you know, others that were on the trail. Why are you so sad? You don't know who I am. Everyone in the party died. Yes, let's write the epitaph. Here lies Aqualung. Sat on the park bench. That's good enough. Or whatever. None of this is going to be kept. Um... So that was a fun little journey, a uh, couple of journeys. One ended well, one ended not so well. So this was, it brought back some memories of uh, 1993, 94, more often than any other time period. Just because I, just about every week we had, uh, you know, computer time, we, had, we each had like 20 minutes or so to play a game half an hour maybe, and this was more often than not uh, the game that I chose. So, that's it for this uh, this week's Wildcard Wednesday. See you next time.